Hajime Tabata has always been one of Square's more interesting directors. The man behind Crisis Core, Final Fantasy XV, Final Fantasy Type Zero, and The Third Birthday, unfortunately. He's the man behind many titles that fans love to love and love to hate. Back in November of 2018, it was announced that Tabata was leaving Square Enix, and that he would be forming his own company, JP Games. Now, the first game that was announced by JP Games was one for the Paralympics, which was going to be a companion game for the actual events. Of course, this was for the Paralympic Games of 2020, which didn't end up happening. A lot of things that year didn't end up happening. However, with that finally happening this year and the game releasing, Tabata is already preparing his next two projects. And you'll be very happy to hear that these are large-scale AAA games that he's working on. And just recently, he opened up about the development of these titles in a Famitsu interview, as translated by Ryokuta 2089, with him saying that we are developing two games, both are projects in collaboration with a large company, not JP Games, and both are masterpieces. No, hold on. How are you going to call your own game a masterpiece? Especially this early into development? M maybe he means that he intends for them to be masterpieces. Maybe he meant like, I'm trying to make this my masterpiece, my magnum opus. I mean, I really don't know what the f*** he meant by that, but... The first game is said to be an evolution of Final Fantasy Type-0. Now, if you guys aren't aware, I actually quite enjoyed Final Fantasy Type-0. At least the PSP version as the HD remaster is kind of... Uh... It is really cool to see that even though we're not going to get an actual Final Fantasy type next, that we're still getting a spiritual successor to what that game was. It's said that the pre-production stage for the game is over. Taking the same approach as Final Fantasy Type-0, this game will be relatively short to complete in one playthrough. However, its focus will be on its high replay value, and to accomplish this, the game will feature a multiplayer function, something that was sorely missing from Type-0 HD. And honestly, we don't have enough multiplayer RPGs that aren't just full-blown MMOs. So honestly, I'm really looking forward to this one. The other game is said to be a AAA JRPG that's an evolved version of Final Fantasy XV. It's also said to be a nomadic RPG. Literally, what does that mean? Tabata, he does offer somewhat of an explanation, saying it's a large-scale game that will focus on free exploration, similar to how nomads lived in the early days of humanity. Oh, you mean like an open world game? It's kind of hard to grasp exactly what he fully means by this, but Tabata-san, you cannot call this an evolution of Final Fantasy XV if Cup Noodle is not somewhere in the game's main story. You know, I'm actually really thrilled to see Tabata returning to the world of AAA games. For a while, it really did seem like he was sort of done making any large-scale game. He also said that when he resigned, he wanted to make the types of games that he couldn't make at Square Enix. Now sure, that's completely true of Pegasus Dream Tour, but these two games, in his own words, are like the previous projects that he was working on while at Square Enix. So it honestly does make you wonder if anything's changed or he just really wants to dive back into those bigger projects. Initially, it had really seemed like after working on something as insane as Final Fantasy XV, a game with a tremendously troubled development cycle, that he honestly just needed a nice long break from working on those insane types of projects. While we'll never know what type next was actually supposed to be, it's nice that we're going to be getting some sort of spiritual successor that continues what that franchise had laid out. And honestly, I'm curious what this AAA nomadic RPG that he's talking about is going to be like. Tabata-san, I want to be hunting wild cup noodles in the forest. If not, just go ahead and cancel the whole thing. I don't want it. But in all seriousness, I really look forward to whatever it is that Tabata is going to be cranking out next. Shout out to patron Haiti and the rest of the Ultima community.